All right, you guys. So I just wanted to quickly share. I am dating a new person. Um, what? <laughs> because you're like, what? Just kidding. It's Chad. Um, we are here at the Dino Dash Car Wash. And these kids are really excited because they got to pick out from the prize box. And what did you pick, Lincoln? These cups. It can change into anything. Even juice it contains. Apple juice. Even water. Any kind of thing that cold. That's cool. I got a six pack at TJ Maxx. And this Max. is water at I. I, and when you put it in, it transforms. That's right. It can transform. So, so the kids are really excited water, about that. They've been staying on task. They've been helping ar out around the house. And I'm so very the proud of them. Like yes, this. buddy. What's that? I'm happy. Come out your Chromebook. And I I'm could fit. And before that, I only three more. You did? Got four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Logan's excited because he has been earning um, his own money. And he's excited because he purchased with his own money something from Amazon that he had enough money for. We figured out the math and he understands and he's really excited about that. Yeah, so let's go do a car wash. Who's excited for a car wash? So got any yeah. Anything you want to say, Chad? This is like Jurassic Park meets St. George, the Dino Dash. It's really cool. And your daughter works here. Yes. Yeah, she's awesome. We lived a long time ago and now yeah. all the dinosaurs are dead. So you think that dinosaur is fake or real, Logan? It's fake. Logan, why is sure. the Tyrannosaurus Rex so angry? It's because it's because fake. Because his arms are too little. That's exactly right. And he can't get the food. Oh yeah, he little. can't get food. But this little. I mean, like this. Not this little. This little. See, my bend yeah, down. That's how it works. What do you say, Vivs? Dinosaurs can't bend down very low. That's true. So that's why the T-Rex gets angry. See? I agree. See, that's Mom, a cool this cup, is how guys. it is, mm -hmm. Mom. Daisy, how you doing? Do you have your water with you? Yeah. Let me see your cup that you picked. That's so cool. This cup because it's black like my That's sister's. really, really good. That is cool. You picked that out from Price Box this week, huh? And my tone's pink. Pretty cool. So, Since we're at the Dino Wash, um, the kids are telling dinosaur jokes. What's your best one, Chad? What do you call a dinosaur? What is the best kind of explosion for a, a dinosaur? What's the best kind of explosion for a dinosaur? A T-Rex! Dynamite! was a really great car wash so anyway check out the dino wash here off of washington parkway in st george utah so the other project that i've been working on or was hoping to work on today was organizing um, an office space for me as just a busy mom with all these kids so i needed a desk that had room for a printer which is actually hard to find um that's a more affordable option for my family and so i found the perfect desk at a really great price and it came in the mail and i unboxed it today and i was so excited and it came damaged so the drawers do not even open it was just stapled together and just looked like super tacky so the item was not as pictured i got it off of amazon so hopefully fingers crossed they return it and then i get my refund back um but i am I'm gonna need an office space so that all of this clutter is just gone, taken care of, clean, organized. It just makes our home run smoother when I have a workstation. Um, so I am just working off of my counter for the last couple months here. But we are getting settled in and I am loving this house, this space, and it is just starting to feel like a home. So I'm so excited for fall and just create a warm and inviting space for my kids. The other thing I wanted to share with everyone are some of our favorite fall books that we like to read as a family together. Anything Peter Rabbit, my kids have just loved since Landon, that was kind of his favorite, so we kept that one. This one by Tasha Tudor, Pumpkin Moonshine, is a really good book about fall and the seasons. 
And then Christopher's Garden by Elsa B. Scow has the most beautiful illustrations and it's just a really fun, whimsical story. And my kids just love cuddling up and they'll actually read this one um, with how long it is just because it has really beautiful artwork and an interesting plot and story. So we like that one. And this is Corduroy's Halloween. I think I got this at our local TJ Maxx. And this was Landon's and Shaden's when they were little. And it's one of those books that's a pop-up. So my kids really like reading it. So those are just a few of the things that we like to read in the fall. We're filming this segment in my pajamas. I have had heat exhaustion pretty bad the last, um, not quite 24 hours, but just about. I went to a tailgate party for the homecoming football game for Utah Tech University. And I went along with Chad and his son, Quaid. And he had a booth there for Greater Zion and we handed out caramel corn and kettle corn and they had freshly popped kettle corn that was being um, given out to people passing by. And so anyway, that was really fun, but the heat has really gotten to me the last 24 hours. And so I've just been resting all today, drinking lots of water. And this sweet little bird looks like is having a tough go too. It just, it just hit my clean windows and it was just sitting there outside on my patio. So I brought it inside where it's cooler and air conditioned. And he's just my sweet little buddy right now. So hopefully he recovers and can rest and is feeling better. But gosh, I thought fall weather was gonna be here. It was about 106 degrees yesterday. So fall has not quite hit us here in Southern Utah. So I'm hoping for a cooler weather at least this week, but it is just the sweetest little bird and who knows, maybe it'll get better. We'll find out here in the next little bit. So we put this little bird outside and it looks like he's doing okay and he's gonna make it. So the little kids are really excited. Over here. He's doing a lot better. Hopefully he gets better. Tiny. I think he's like three inches. You think he's like three inches? I would agree. It's probably like a yeah. three or four inch is he bird. A baby? He does look like a baby. Yeah, that is a free inch. Is he I a baby? Count it. Mm -hmm.